Hey guys, send this is your first early look at the One UI 8.5, the next gen One UI software coming soon for Galaxy devices, packed with iOS ish visual changes, new features, new animations, and customization settings. So first off, we have some new lock screen clock styles. The dynamic lock screen clock is still there, but I think Samsung should add an option to enable that dynamic clock for every single style. That would look great. Now just like iOS 18, the Samsung One UI 8.5 quick settings can be fully customized. You guys can resize every single toggle and module in here and even change the direction of any module like can change the shape of this brightness slider and volume slider from vertical to horizontal and horizontal to vertical. The best part is you guys can add any module anywhere on this quick settings and even leave empty spaces. The animation to expand the quick settings is the best I've seen in any UI, super smooth and clean. Just look at this guys. From vertical to horizontal and horizontal to vertical, that animation is super clean. This is soft blur effect here and there in the edges for a more elegant look. So the overall control center looks great in my opinion. I think way better than iOS 26. The blur functionality and the overall interface is the best I've seen so far. There's a new app opening and closing animation. Super smooth and clean guys. It looks like real jump from the last one UI. Samsung I added a bottom floating bar for quick navigation in all the system applications. So like in dialer you get this pill shape floating navigation menu where you can select the dialer keypad, recents and contacts. Here I'll show you all the system applications one by one. Here you see gallery with similar pill shape floating navigation bar and even in the photos you will see this iOS-ish kinda design language here and there. Weather Camera And Settings Settings get this bottom floating search bar and there are some new settings to customize the UI like you guys can now enable and disable the battery background from the notifications and status bar settings. So I can now remove the pill shape battery icon and replace it with the normal text battery percentage. Finally, we have a beautiful software update page with a nice green blue gradient blur background. Looks stylish. That's all guys, thanks so much for watching, your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll meet you guys in the next one, like, share, subscribe and peace out.